guys, welcome back to Hear Me Out. I'm E. I'm D. And today we're celebrating because we have officially hit 10,000 subscribers. Thank y'all. You guys are amazing. And we are so thankful that you're following us and commenting. We can't keep up with your comments. We're, yep. we're just tired. That's a whole full-time job, but we greatly appreciate it. We'll eventually catch up with you guys. We have a whole bunch of ideas of different content. If you guys have any ideas, leave it in the comment box. But today we're going to talk about our biffle, Britney Spears. <laughs> I hope you guys have checked out our Britney Spears podcast. I think it is Playlist. that we have. Yeah, Playlist. Yes, yeah. We have both. So we have copious videos on Britney Spears and us popping off on Justin Timberlake. But <laughs> today, it's not about Justin. It's actually about Britney and her dad. So we're going to read a variety article and of course give you our opinions on it. The title of this article is Britney Spears and her father settled dispute over alleged, alleged mm. financial misconduct during the conservatorship. So the girl's been through it, but maybe, you know, this is the light at the end of the tunnel at this point. We'll see. Okay, so the article is by um, Thania, Thania Garcia. I apologize if I mispronounced the name. I'm really bad with name, by the way. It, it's just a thing. Um, okay, so the article says Britney Spears has settled a dispute over legal fees with her dad and former conservator Jamie Spears. The pair settled an enduring debate over Jamie's legal fees and his management of Britney's finances in Los Angeles Superior Court on April 25th. The New York Times reported Friday afternoon. Britney's legal team, led by attorney Matthew S. Rosengart, was fighting to keep their client from having to pay her father's legal bills, mainly on the basis Jamie had allegedly misused his authority as Britney's conservator, a role he held up until September 2019 to pay himself $6 million. Terms of the settlement were not widely disclosed, but in a statement issued Friday, Rosengart said Britney had finally fulfilled her goal of obtaining total freedom. As she desired, her freedom now includes that she will no longer need to attend or be involved with court or entangled with legal proceedings in this matter. He continued by stating, it has been our honor and privilege to represent, protect, and defend Britney Spears. With this move, Jamie and Britney avoid having to go to trial over the alleged financial misconduct during her conservatorship. Details on the conclusion to this case are sparse in comparison to the media frenzy that first ensued over two years ago. Everything changed for Britney after she publicly addressed a court in Los Angeles on June 23rd of 2021, telling the judge that she was traumatized and held against her will with all of her rights stripped away by her conservators, including her father, who at one point she said she wanted jailed. I just want my life back, the singer said. Since leaving the conservatorship, or yeah, since leaving the conservatorship, Spears has sold over 2 million copies of her best-selling memoir, The Woman in Me, and has released music with Elton John and Will I Am. Still, Britney has been adamant that her career in music is no longer a priority of hers. And rumors began circulating that her team was ushering her to put out an album Britney wrote on Instagram. They keep saying I'm turning into random people to do a new album. I will never return to the music industry. Well, I mean... I that's totally understandable, and we've definitely discussed all of that. But what do we think about this whole legal battle finally being over? Well, based on everything that we've seen, I, and I say this in the nicest way, her family is trash. Just <laughs> trash, trash, trash. The way they treated her, the way they just, you know, held her in this conservatorship, captive, making her do things that she probably wouldn't have done or mm -hmm. wanted to do. You know, she was basically like a puppet working for them. They were spending her money, you know, and this is what we see and what we've read and what she's expressed in the woman, her me and the woman in me. Um, but I'm glad that it's over. Yeah. Like she is like, she doesn't have to like keep dwelling and keep reliving these things. And, you know, it's probably like 10 times more hurtful because you're mm. fighting with your family. You're fighting with your dad, somebody who you saw grow up and then me mistreat you this way, which is crazy. So this being behind, she got what she wanted. She has her freedom. She doesn't have to bother with them anymore. I'm happy for her. She should not return to the music industry if it's going to cause her pain. Of mm -hmm. course, as fans, 
we would love some more music of hers. <laughs> yeah. She was a great entertainer. She had that Las Vegas residency. I don't know if she mm-hmm. had one or two. I think so, she had two. I think she had two, right? So we never got a chance to see her. So if she has one more, we will go for sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> But at this point, she should just live her life, find her happiness. You know, leaving the conservatorship, she was also in this in the midst of a divorce. I don't know what, what's going on with that, with uh, Sam. Sam Asgari. Okay. Yeah. So that's another blow. So she just needs to relax, relate, release, go to Turks and Caicos, do your little Instagram post that you like, you know, <laughs> naked or wearing little to nothing. Do you, girl? You deserve it. You got a lot of catching up to do for those 13 years. So, hey, you get free pass for the next decade. What do you think? (laughs) Um, No, I I agree. I think that everything she went through and um, the things that she detailed, it was very obviously traumatizing for her. So it is a great thing that she no longer has to deal um not only with the conservatorship but also with the the legal um stuff behind it like the the her attorney said uh she no longer has to return to court or do any of those things so that i'm sure is a huge like weight off of her shoulders um we don't know the details obviously of of how things were settled but i think that at the very least it's a good thing for her. It's done and out of the way. And maybe now her full healing can begin. I know that even in her memoir at the end, she mentioned that she, despite everything her family put her through, she wanted to find a path to forgiveness for them. And we've covered a video or two where um, where she has kind of made some amends or or had some kind of talks with some relatives i think her mom her sister or something i'm not sure so i don't know i mean like you said it is it is crazy because it was her dad um somebody that supposedly had to have taken care of her uh, from a child and all that and then he put her what he put he put her through the things he did so um i hope that at the very least now she can like fully continue to just like heal properly with all of this behind her ditto and i don't think this whole thing was about money it was more of a stance it's like hey you need to pay for all the things that you did and i guess based on this legal thing i don't think he has to pay her anything but it's just i think it's satisfactory to me or satisfactory to her that it's like hey you put me through all this we're done Mm -hmm. I said what I needed to say and we can keep it moving. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I think that's definitely, it's a, it's a, a, you know, right direction, all of that for her, because I mean, she's had so much going on. And like you said, the divorce, which who knows what's going on with that right now? Cause I haven't really seen too many things about it. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and that's going to be a whole nother settlement essentially, because um, Sam is, I'm sure, going to continue to demand some sort of money or spousal support. I think she's still paying for that apartment of his. So even though things have finally kind of have been done with the conservatorship and all that stuff, she still has this issue to contend with as far as her divorce. So hopefully it'll be a little bit easier now that she's got one less legal drama to worry about. That's true. Now, will she be befriending, uh, reconciling a relationship with her family is the question. I don't know. I think I think a part of her wants to. Um, like I said, she mentioned something to that effect in her memoir. Um, but but how do you kind of like go back in a mm-hmm. way? How do I you forge think- a new relationship? I think that there was an olive branch extended. Was it for her birthday that he that she invited her mom so. and her sister and her brother? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but I just, you know, with people that cause you so much pain in life, it could be family, it could be friends, it could be boyfriends, girlfriends. I yeah. think it's sometimes very hard to forgive and forget. Yeah. 
mostly forgive, you know? So I don't know yes. how she's going to do that. Especially, you can't even go to a therapist because, of course, you know, the things that the therapist probably made her do or psychologist. Right. So I don't know. Right. I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so bad for her still. I mean, I'm I'm happy that she's had her freedom. She's gotten her freedom. I'm happy that she's done with the conservative legal situation. But I still feel bad for her because I, in a way, I mean, she's kind of stuck in time. And I think we've discussed that before. Um, and, and, and then for months, she had that whole back and forth because of Justin. Um, and it's like, when will she get a chance to just be happy, be free, be joyful without any kind of drama to mm -hmm. come out out of nowhere or just people trying to come after her. It just feels very frustrating um, because it's like, okay, she, she finally gets a win, right? But then something happens to kind of like take away from that. So yeah. I just want her to catch a break. That's like, true. At least Justin, the real villain, has chilled. He's not <laughs> cool saying that he regrets nothing. He's right. apologizing to no one right so but guys let us know in the comments what do you think about this whole legal situation should britney forgive her dad i mean obviously she's paying the legal fees but would you have paid the legal fees just to get this crap over with Whew. um i don't even know what to say about Brit. anything you want to say about britney just leave it in the comments but <laughs> concludes today's video if you haven't already done so please subscribe turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos also please share our video we're trying to grow our community maybe to a hundred thousand <laughs> <laughs> your friends could be our friends and we could all be friends we also have social media which still tell you about we are on tiktok and instagram hear me out dne so make sure you guys like follow share and comment and as e mentioned at the top of the video you can also listen to our videos in podcast format uh via youtube music and uh spotify so a lot of the videos on youtube itself are on playlists these playlists are podcasts so you have options guys you have options <laughs> all right guys we'll see you next time peace Bye. Bye.